Testing Hello audio. everyone, this is Grayshot17 here. And Grayshot151 with company. And uh, we're doing a review of Dunkirk. A... Yes. This is... This is... This by... is awkward. This is fantastic. Anyway, Dunkirk is a film by Christopher Nolan, the same director behind The Dark Knight. And also... Uh, trilogy, and also you have Got Interstellar, oh, you Inception, are not happy. Uh, Memento, I... and now Dunkirk. Hey, uh, yes, uh, essentially he is coming back with a World War II uh, war film based on the... No, World War II war film? Based on the evacuation of the British and French forces from the beach of Dunkirk. Actually, as... a lot of forces. Belgium possibly a little bit too. You know, the ones that... Primarily British, secondary French. Third, from... everyone else who could, get, uh, who could get themselves to Dunkirk. Uh, yeah, um... So for those who don't know... Uh, Dunkirk was in 1940, and this was when the Germans blitzkrieged France. That divided the British on the beach and the French on the mainland. And things... Not only that, but the Germans have this area completely surrounded yep. and were basically steamrolling the French. The only reason that even the British even had time, historically, is because the generals in the field, not Hitler, as many people mis, um, uh, misbelieve or, you know... Uh, any case, they uh, they asked the they asked for a cease that way they, their men could rest for three days. I believe um, this was followed through, and then they basically had the British surrounded. Yeah, they expected a victory, which, to be fair, uh, historically wise, I mean, it kind of was. The British yeah. retreated. They captured the French forces defending some, I believe, maybe some British defenders as well, but yeah. primarily French were holding out to get the British off the beaches. That way they could get back. Um, and they left all their heavy equipment on the beaches. The British basically just gave a freaking... It's basically like if you just gave your enemy a gun and then walked back home and said, okay, fight. It's just like you just gave him everything yeah. you have. And this movie primarily doesn't focus on that. It focuses on just trying to get the men off the beaches and back home that's, to the United that, Kingdom. That's the weird part about this film. This film is more of a escape or thriller than or a whole, even a horror film than really a war film, and that works really well. And we'll go into spoilers on some of the details on how they do that. But you get a variety of perspectives. We can say that, mm -hmm. and you get to see from land, sea, and air how the the I guess the Battle of Dunkirk is going. One side really doesn't fare well in this movie. I'll let yeah. you guess. I'll let you guess which one. But let me just let me give you a hint. It's the only way you can actually ferry troops. Hint, uh, hint, wink, wink. So here's the problem with this film. While it tells a grand scope scale of land, sea, and air, the biggest issue that we found was the fact of information. Yes. And although this film actually does highlight misinformation well among soldiers, among civilians, etc., the problem is actually how it's conveyed to the general audience. For example, there are scenes in which there, someone is conveying information, and just like, just like The Dark Knight, you have no idea what the heck they're saying because it's like there's what? A, there's, what? <laughs> yeah, their accent's a little strong. Not to mention the fact that there's he's there's such little focus on dialogue in this movie and yeah. primarily just focusing on shots and the actions taken, which would work and does work in plenty of films. The problem with this though is you are telling the story of the British evacuation from French soil yeah. in the year 1940 as Germans surround the, the area and slowly advance and push the British off as the British evacuate. Now, to tell that story to an American who has no idea about Dunkirk, I guarantee if you would ask ten people on you know before this movie came out on the streets, what is Dunkirk? They might say something German, a beach, or maybe something that happened. Oh, long it's ago. A, it was a landing on D-Day. Yeah, or or D-Day. Yeah, I guarantee you, no one would know. And this film, while it does an accurate representation of the people of that event, it doesn't really go into the event itself. The French defenders, the German advance, and 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 while the advance itself is done very well, the yeah. Germans act very much like Jaws. You very rarely see them, but their presence is always felt. And oh my, dramatically yeah. speaking, land, sea, and air, and they are a presence very much like a dark storm. You know it's coming, and when it comes, there is no escaping its wrath. But my problem with this movie is that it doesn't. You, it, its dialogue is very minimal. 
and therefore, a, I'm a history major, so I know Dunkirk very well, I understand World War II very well, and I understand the ramifications. If the British would have lost, essentially, the 400,000, roughly 400,000 men on the beaches, yeah. it, Germ, er, the UK probably would have sued for peace. If it lost all that, all of those men, yeah. and, and Churchill, that. Churchill would not have had, or it would have been extremely, extremely hard for Churchill to basically argue to, uh, to continue the war. Yeah, it would have been disastrous. Because at that point, France is gone. You have all your allies are gone. It's like a Gallipoli squared. Norway, Norway is also gone. at this point gone. So pretty much you have no landing bases. You pray to God Spain doesn't join the Axis, which at the time, that's what the allies feared. And then Portugal is your last hope, but even on then, it's Portugal is not, not an ally. Yeah, the major well, and France is still fighting at this point. But they're falling back. But they're falling, and they're falling hard. Yeah, that is why. Um, I, after, actually, after this, the British were requesting a massive amount of uh, lend supplies. Lease. Yeah, yeah, with lend lease because they left all their stuff. They didn't so, have okay, it. It was kind of a hopeless situation. That's, that's out of this movie's context. But again. Just a few maps. Uh, the, the, there's a few commanders and officers. They have that, a map that you. Li- the first thing you see is a map. No, no. I'm saying is on the daily shot because while you feel the intense, uh, the the shots of impending doom. Yeah. You swear the the Germans are are literally in sniping range the entire movie, and some of the shots don't make any sense. In oh yeah, there's the a shot where okay, so there's a wait 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 the spoilers spoilers. The spoilers spoilers no no we're not going to spoilers yet enough. The music was fantastic. Yes. The, the cinematography was great. Yes. The acting was on point for most part of the film. You had a couple issues with some character choices, but yeah. overall, I really enjoyed it. Now, again, the music sets up the tension. The tension is all – you can cut it with a knife, and it gets thicker and thicker the more you can go on. And you are like, are these people going to make it? Um, really? You've thought that? No, I, they – some people don't. I mean, honestly, this – you see people die left and right. Here's my note, though. Out of all those characters, na- are there any – That's my that's my problem. They, I have no idea. Out of the ones that – George. That's out, the only one because of the trailer. Yeah. Let's uh, go, George. Out of all the characters that you saw, yeah. how many did you actually care if they lived or died? And I'm not saying in real life. I'm saying in an actual movie, if it would have died, would you have really cared too much? Yeah, because I'm just like, get off the beach. There's see, a for, few – See, for me, my problem was I never was invested in the characters, so I never felt that relation. Yes, I understand there's 400,000 men on the beaches, and that's a yeah. – and again, oh, that's and so, a all those massive men, significant All those point. men do not care how they eat off the beach. They want off the beach. Yeah. Which also brings up some good <sighs> character moments. Yes. But at the same time – But that being said, there, there are characters who die, and I'm like, wait a second. Who was who, that again? Yeah. They're, 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 basically, there's some characters that are thrown off. By the way, like there's one guy who – Again, don't – don't go. I'm not going into spoilers, but there's plenty of people where you, they disappear, and you're just like, okay, I guess they're gone. But I think that's the point. In war, it's there suppo- isn't supposed yeah, to. There's not that you know uh, personality. You don't get to see every person die. But at the same time, it needed the humanity element because when the ending does occur, historically speaking. We everyone knows the ending. Yes. This is not this is like it's like, oh, did the Americans win the revolution? You know the ending. The British make it off. Spoilers. Uh history is, you know, the the worst uh spoiler. I, I any case. When the ending finally comes, it kind of felt I'm gonna say this honestly, half assed. I felt it was just kind of meh. This and that's how I wanted to describe this movie. It's expertly done. Blah. That's how. That's my honestly review for this. It's a well crafted. It's like it's like a, a chef that provides you a fantastic meal, and it looks fantastic, and it and it smells delicious, and you just want to dive into it, and it tastes like mom cooking. It's like this is good, but I'm paying a hundred dollars for this. One would assume a little bit of uh, uh, some fine edge personality. Yes, yeah, so, oh, just some flavor, some anything. It but it's just kind of bland and. When there's, when there's some beats in this movie that really miss the mark, some characters like you really don't care for, and you don't care if they live or die, honestly. There's only a few I could name that I actually gave a shit because they actually gave, there was actually a little bit of character I could attach to. The rest of this I movie think, is I know, I know one, we'll go on the spoilers. I think I know why you're acting like this. Not, so, well, it's not, it's on all three fronts. Okay. Land, air, and sea. Because... It, 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 this movie is well done. This is not saying Christopher Nolan doesn't make a good movie, 
But for me, I was just so taken out of this movie, like so, that when it finally happened, I I like how you're off screen. Yeah, Thank you. that's the whole point. As it's like, as it, when it finally happens, when the grand reveal, it's a whole bunch of nothing. I wouldn't say that. All right, so we can go. What, just, what rating would you give this? Out, out of five. Of, out of five. And don't give me no half. Three. You would give this a three out of five. It's not a... Okay, it's better than an average movie. It's well done. But the story never... But the actual uh, things you can actually bite into are so blah that it, there's, no, there's nothing to hook onto. And the things you can, you just scrape off of. So, again, I you love that give history... It a three. So, for me, I see a couple issues. I see that. But I also see how it subverts the norm. I like the three the, the three different arcs to this. The three different sides of this. I understand where there's confusion, but I also see areas in which that confusion is purpose. Because, again, the soldiers don't care where the Germans are. Don't To be fair, they, when they say they're in enemy territory, I'm like, what's the difference between this side of the beach and that side of the beach? There's nothing there. Yeah. But... I can still understand, like, they're just trying any means necessary to get off that beach. And also, the the shots in the setup, yeah, sure, there's a lot of times where it's like, are they going to get through? Are they not? What's going to happen? And also, I like how it kept cutting back and forth between different times. But the problem I had, again, my problem is, yes, I don't know a lot of the characters. When they died, I did not feel impact. But I still got enough impact from the fighters, from the sea guys. Even if the army I didn't care as much about. I still enjoyed the fact that when the sailors... When you see sailors, you can see that hope and optimism. At the end of the movie, you see that hope and optimism. And I like that compared to the beginning of the movie. Which just starts and it's like, oh wow, we're in some deep stuff. So, honestly, I would go higher. But I understand your point and we'll, we'll convey and we'll do a 3 out of 5. Okay. I know a lot of. I know it's getting what would, you, what would you have? Been I would give it a, a slightly higher score, which is a four. Okay, but so three and a half. No, I'm not doing the half. <laughs> I'm not doing the half. See, a lot of our problems now would be solved if you just went three and a half. I'm stars. not giving. No, I'm not giving it three and a half. It's a three or four. I hate the half. I hate seven or. Seven. It's like it's a it's a average movie, expertly done, but you do not care about any of the main characters. But that being said. My personal opinion, I would give this a 4 out of 5. Because I find enough interest. My brother does not. He's more analytical and history buff. But anyway, we're going to spoilers now. Spoilers. Spoilers. George dies and I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's a Honestly, problem. the kid just dies and his, and his whole note is, I wanted to be something. I wanted to be a hero. Then he dies and no one gives a dick. It's like, no, I no, understand wait, wait, wait. the situation. Wait, wait, wait. I understand the direness. Hold on. I understand the direness. But the guy... Okay. You be, imagine this. You're going to off to help people. Bravo. To war. To war. Your son joins you. Now I know Kay. what I Yep. Your, bro, your, 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 friend, your, your son's friend joins you. Okay. Good to know. Your f- son's friend dies. What do you think is the first thing you would do to his parents? Maybe go home. Maybe take the body. Maybe explain that to him. But instead he just walks away and goes back home. Can you imagine... Waking up the next day, seeing your son in the paper. Can while it says more, hero, can you get a little bit more in the frame? That'd be great. You're, there we Thank go. You. While you're taking, while you're looking at the newspaper and taking in your coffee, you just see your son dead, hero at Dunkirk, but dead. And you're like, you have no he idea. was here. You have no idea if he actually did it, if he actually went to them. That's the point. That's the whole point. It wasn't. But here's the movie didn't even. You still see it wasn't. Okay, spoilers. it wasn't important. As well as at the end, the you movie. get a newspaper cl- clipping showing hero of Dunkirk, seventeen year old killed. And even though he was technically killed by a shell shock soldier, he wasn't even a hero. He died uh, the most worthless death. He got oh, hit by okay. a soldier. What is that to a hero about it? I understand. Like, okay, that's optimism. Well, that's uh, covering the truth. You have a dead body back, 17-year-old. You say he died at war. What about the thousands that died? The French? Here's a fun fact. Because guess what? People care about a, a boy going out than a soldier. Here's a fun fa- Here's the Here's the actual headline. 17-year-old killed, and the guy that brought him out there does nothing. It's like, because the movie focuses on that death, so wait. but it doesn't give you any importance so to it. So wait, 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 wait. 
Your biggest problem with this film is the fact that war propaganda would cover up the fact the boy died at sea. No, that's not my biggest fault. It's the fact that it's used to basically motivate the shell shock soldier. Yes. The the son and and the guy. But war's hell. If but, you can get some optimism, you take it. If that boy died, use it. It's not, I'm not trying to be mean, and I know that cynical is hell. But if the kid died, you have to use that. No, no, you're not understanding. It's not the fact that he died. It's not okay. the fact that he was used. It's the point of the matter that his death was then basically used as this pedestal, as yes. this, this high thing, yes. and not explored. It was dropped. It, like a bowling ball in an alley. It just what slammed do you do? on your foot. What do you do with the soldier? Do you throw him overboard? There was a point of the guy making... Do you th do what, what do you do? At that moment, they found out when they're getting other military guys on board... Do you take their gun and shoot the guy, and then you have all the these officers like, why'd you do that? For a movie that has such little dialogue, I expected... There was so little dialogue, all that you had to say was emotion. Nothing. You saw it on their face, like, there's nothing they could do. It's like, what do you do? Like, the, the, the friend is, like, uh, the son is like... But no, no, okay. It's not that he died. It's the it's the impact this movie you puts him on a pedestal. And even the news... You know what I'm saying? Yes. The newspaper's fine. Okay. But this movie then you continues to use him, and it doesn't. It, it just basically drops him off. It doesn't show him that night with the two guys going to them and the cry, crying mother. Even though it's like you're home. Wait, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're home, but that doesn't mean the war doesn't follow you. That is what this whole. They said that. They said that at the end of the film, the war is not over, not by a long shot. But it doesn't. It's not shown on the people of the British. This movie's it supposed is to shown convey on the British. They're that... ha the people. Civilians are happy. This is, they make a home. There's people celebrating. There's blind people. It's not something to celebrate in that regard. You're supposed like the shot. You can't been... celebrate that you saved three hundred thousand men when you expected thirty thousand. Listen, die. listen. No, they're all. You're expected only thirty thousand to come back. It's not okay. That's not the point. You're supposed to have the cheering crowds of the soldiers, and then the gentleman with his son consoling the family because the war followed them home. That's you the point. Wanted, you wanted them to do that, but in actuality, he did something better instead of telling the mother and father. Yeah, assumedly. he went home and sucked on coffee as they, the parents then found out their kid died. No notice, no nothing. Way to be the you have, way to be the the uh, the friend of the family of the year. You have no idea if he did go back and consult them. It's not the point that if he did or did not. The movie did not highlight that as the war was returning back to the island. The whole point of the movie okay. was the war will continue, as in with the air fighter as the Germans were invading. Okay. The war then followed them home as they finally got back. Okay. What do you then see? The soldiers being greeted by the populace. Yes. Yes. What then should have happened is not the freaking two guys sipping coffee. Oh, yeah, we're heroes. Yay. It should have been, hey, we're they didn't think they Hold were on. Heroes. We're back at the family. I'm sorry. Like, just a, just a cons like something to memorate this, George, instead of looking at the paper that you had no reference for and just saying, oh, he's a hero. How much of an ass are you that you don't even, cons like, you don't even console the family? I think they did. That's why they got the pilot to go do that. What are you talking they about? They got the pilot. How's the pirate gonna a pilot going to know where that guy lives? He got the the guy's the the, the kid's photo. Hold on, let me knock on every door. In no, the no, but he presented the he got he went to their house, got the photo, came over to the postage office and delivered it. What, what I I'm confused. What you're the pilot went to to the family. Got the photo, went to the newspaper, and gave them the what photo. You, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He handed the newspaper the photo of the kid. What are you talking about? There's a shot in this film where he goes from the family's house with the family over to the postage or newspaper office. You mean or hands the photo and shows this kid, the, and he is like explained to the newspaper this kid. I, I don't understand you what now what your point is. They did pull it up, pull it up. We're pulling this up. Go to go to go. go. Oh, God damn it! I I really hate this so much. But anyway, Tom Holland's fantastic in yeah, this Tom as a fighter Holland. pilot. But Wait, Tom, I swear to God, if you're mad at this film because of this, and they literally show that's in one of my complaints. That's one of my biggest complaints is the fact that they don't. Ex yeah, this movie ends on such a ha crashes. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's passed away. Peter said. Uh, they eventually reach England. The local paper. There's no note of him. I, sw I swear to God. Nope. 
No, it's just them at the family. The pilot. The no, pi- they the give- pilot walks off. The pilot walks off. I know I'm right. I saw this shot. I, I, I saw this as well. It goes by this. The pilot walks off, then cuts to the soldiers on the train. Cuts back next day. They are. Where do you think the pilot went in England? What do you think he did? He walked off with all the rest of the soldiers. Into you, the and ho- you never see him again. Yeah. You see him again. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely giving this a four out of five. If that's your biggest complaint... The fact that they do show it, but you didn't pay attention. No, no, no. I left for popcorn. That and I still got more than this film. No, 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 no. That was one of my notices. All the right. other note is this movie is so like it likes to. It, I I would admit it likes doing the trick shot of going back and forth, which I thought was expertly done because it it's leading up to this grand scale. It's like, are they gonna make it or not? Because we know, of course, they're gonna make it. It yeah, does, but I, but who cares if they do? None of them are interesting except for the one guy that gets captured by the Germans at the end. He was the only guy, uh, and the old gentleman, because I can understand his note is like, I could like he was one of the characters I understood for the most. He's like, I gotta help them. He was actually explaining the vehicles, which I gave him props for. Look, I. But I, then they finally go back, and his character was ruined for me because then he goes back home, sips on coffee with his son instead of going to console the family of the of the of the of the son that he killed by bringing him out there because he already lost his original son in the war. That's what really pissed me off, and then what left a sour taste in my mouth is just like, wow, what an asshole. And it's not, it's, you don't see any note of remorse or anything on his face. He just looks at the photo, and yes, you see it on, it, there's like a little hint, but then it, it, it just cuts to the soldiers. And all the cheering in the crowds, it's like, no, show the cheering crowds, but then show the family. Show that the war has come there. All right, so, show them the Germans all right, move on, make move it. on. We've spent too much time on this one topic. Any, okay, so yes, I have problem naming soldiers, but I thought... It was tense. I didn't expect them to live. I I wasn't being honest. I expected them all to die. I didn't care either way, honestly. I cared about the the, the two guys. Yeah, but the one guy. The, here's the other. The two characters they threw in the beginning. One dies. Yeah, there's a shot of it, but there's no note of the like his, all his friends. Like there's a he's returning back. He's trying to get to the beach. It's British soldiers. They get mowed down. Which once again they do a great job of not showing the Germans throughout the entire thing. But they feel more menacing in this than a lot of other uh, war movies. Mm-hmm. It's, and it's just very well done. But his entire squad gets murdered. And then he comes across a soldier while he's trying to use the bathroom, just burying someone and then trying to, like, bury him. It's like, oh, okay. And they think that this is an enemy. And it turns out to be a French soldier in British wear just trying to get off the beach. I thought that was really cool because it led to this moment where, like, oh, they called – I thought it was the mole for the beach or, like, the area they're at. Is there an actual mole? Because that, that was my first thing. It's like, oh, there is a mole. And it's realized, no, it's just another French soldier. But your, your paranoia plays with you. That's I enjoyed that. Yes, this isn't the most entertaining or thrilling film that I... Uh, sorry. Uh, fair, not that it is thrilling. But a better way to describe it is the most... Yeah, just enter, pure entertainment value. Spider-Man probably holds that. But it's still a very... It's probably one of the best put-together films I've seen in quite some time. And also I enjoy all the acting and performances... There is no point why, like, to arguing and stuff like that. People die, unfortunately, and it's shown many times. Soldiers just die on the boat, and it's like, there's nothing you can do. They just drown. And I like that when it's like, when they tell the soldiers to go under the boat for more room, they're like, no. Because we they've been on two boats. They've been on two boats that both went under at the, because of that. You boats, yeah. Um, again, I'm not making note of the acting. I'm not making note of the cinematography. I'm not making note of any of the tension because it was done. I want to make note, though, the music was kind of repetitive. And I, after, like, the third, bah, I was just like, I get it. Oh, I enjoy it. Like, the whole, like, it sounded like a ticking time clock the entire time. It's yeah, like, countdown. It, it, yeah, it, and that was nice, but it kind of felt repetitive at a moment. It was just kind of like kept, it kept doing the same beat after, for every tenth scene. And it's like, okay, okay, we get this music. Um, Okay, I un- and my other note is, again, while this is well put together in regards to the story, you don't care about this. This is 330,000 men getting off the beaches but when the boats finally show up yeah it's a great moment of relief but i feel it could be done so much better you could have oh my god also the entire area the, the dramatic tension there are notes that said oh yeah the french are crumbling we don't have long no notice you, you know see nothing. the guy freak out like colonel was yeah like, the guy freaks out but you notice nothing 
There's no the, the the same background looks the same. There's no distinguishable shots of dif the difference. You don't see you don't see buildings blowing. You, you see don't more see and more. fire. You don't see. What are you talking? You see more and more of the countryside on fire. Even at the night scene, which I almost I left and came back to, you see the whole place on fire as German troops advance. Yeah, uh, here's the other note. Like Jaws. Yes, it is good not to show the enemy, and yes, it was a, a very stylistic shot not to have the Germans till the very end. Yes. But show something, because you have no I idea. The loop there's, the there's no reference to where the Germans are. Yeah. It, it's just, they're coming. And while that is a cool, imposing threat, that tension's kind of, kind of thrown away because you don't know how far they are. Apparently, they're shooting a boat that's literally within range of the commander as target practice with machine gun fire. No, they had to use binoculars going down the coastline. But they still saw the boat. And yet the Germans weren't, like, I, there were plenty of moments where the Germans could have flanked if that was the case, where it was. There, it's, You just needed a clear-cut, like, a shot of a plane looking over and seeing... They did. They had a shot the of a plane looking at the Of the Germans and the line. You needed something to show where was breaking, where was holding, how the French were doing. Also, the French are basically just, like, thrown to the side. Yes, there is one French soldier, and yes, there's there's French soldiers in the beginning. There's the one French soldier that you know uh, plays coy and dies, yeah. and then there's the the note of oh yeah, we're gonna help the French. Other than that, they're basically thrown asunder. Which, by the way, at that point, the French were the ones holding the line against this. Yet there's no notice to them at all. They're basically thrown as cannon fodder, and then basically they're talk talk down to the the British, which I understand. But at the same time, you don't see anything of them, which is it's their country. And some of them are trying to leave. It's understandable. Oh, there's one main note of the French, like, trying to beg the British to leave. And they're like, no, no, our men first, our men first. It's like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I would. You you go to find someone on the soil, and they break. You blame, it's like, oh, it's not our fault, it's your fault. Honestly. I would absolutely, I absolutely convinced that, like, the British would be pissed off at the French because they're like, you failed your lines. It's your fault. How many times has GTA and Company of Heroes 2 complained that his line broke? And it's like, oh, I mean, it's your fault. I mean, I, if I had more support or this or that. So absolutely, absolutely I could see that, like, criticism. You did, you did it the wrong way. It's when the enemy breaks you and then hits his line. He's like, what the hell? What's going on? Dude. Uh no, no, it's him, him breaking, and then he starts blaming anything. Or it's like, oh, this isn't working. It's not my fault. Uh... Yeah, so, I, anyway, so my brother is heated about this film, but I, I still recommend I it. just feel like it's a wasted opportunity. It honestly just feels like a whole bunch of wasted opportunity. You wanted a better shot. Oh, this should is had, most of it Should have had the British air, should have had the British Navy, and then you should have had the French holding the front. So you could see the Brit, you could see the Germans closing, and you could see how close they were getting. Town by town, inch by inch. This, this you movie's could an see. hour and 45 minutes. I feel like it was any longer that if you no, had no, no. another get French... rid of the British characters throw and because you don't need them they don't bring anything to the tail yes it is yes they're trying to get out the breach but you should have shown the French holding the lines that way you know how close the Germans are yeah. you know what's going on you can see the British on the beaches you can see while you're grabbing reinforcements my my problem with it's it, just you, a wasted opportunity I feel like if you would have shown more Germans that you would have lost some of the imposing factor on it that's that's just me. Yeah, well, you don't need to show the Germans. You could you, you just, just show like hints. a German tank or something. The ones show a that German tank. Moving. Show German armor. Show because uh, other German armor. Show like men approaching, but is, make them silhouettes and such. Make it artillery coming down. Like, they did. They showed artillery hanging the pier. Show you, to cut you again. This movie makes excellent use of cuts. Cut back to that where the French were in shambles, and then you, you they cut the camera cuts around the destroyed barricades where you see the backs of German soldiers to now where the French are hold up farther down the streets, fire looming in the distance, and then in the background you can see hints of the British ships as they're making note. Again, a clear cut way, but this. The French are thrown aside. You don't understand where the Germans are, and while the ending is nice, it's just. It feels like a waste opportunity. That's what I'd like to describe Dunkirk. A great film, but a wasted opportunity. I can't wait to be smashed at at the dislikes. It's going to be wonderful. It's like, it's like I, I wanted to like this praise. movie. 96 Metacritic, nearly 100% Rotten Tomatoes, Greystone Productions. Eh, it's average. Honestly, I, it's, I've seen a lot better movies this year. Baby Driver, A Monster Calls there's a lot better movies and honestly i wouldn't even put this in my top 10 
I put this in the honorable mentions. If that, for you. Yeah, but... for me. I, no, no, I would say it's a strong honorable mention. But it's not, it's not Interstellar, it's not an Inception, it's not The Dark Knight. This is kind of like Memento for, Memento for me, which I thought was cool, but I didn't think it was great. It was good. Um, and that's kind of like my feeling for this. It was just good. And I, I, there were a lot of things I could have done better. A lot of things. But, yeah, that's that's my note. Oh, yeah, and the practicality of this movie was also fantastic. Oh, yeah, there's barely any CG as far as we can tell. It's all... Well, hey, there's CG to cover it up, but there's a lot of nice plane shots and whatnot. It looks fantastic. I couldn't... It's hard. If you told me, was that CG or... It, the background it, definitely was, obviously. Oh, yeah, the background. But, like, you're talking about the boats or the planes? I'm like, that, hey, that's look, really? there. Yeah. That's there. <laughs> They're fighting over England or over the... Uh, sorry, uh, the English Channel. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I really enjoyed this film... My brother less so, but I still recommend you go see it if this is up your alley. But in any case, that's going to be our review. I want to thank you guys for watching. By the way, leave a note enjoyed. if you guys see it and agree with me, or if you agree, if see this movie and agree with him. Again, was George Death a wasted opportunity on the characters, or was it actually well done? Let us know in the comments below, but we will see you next time for our review of... Actually, uh, so the next movie might be Valerian... Oh God! I mean, if you if you apparently like characters that you don't that mean nothing, that's the film to see. See you next time, guys. See ya.